here to show you how easy it is, okay? So, I know Facebook was down yesterday, right when, um, I think, I don't know if the sisters got through showing all the new products from Iron Orchid Designs, but I'm here to show you um, one of my favorites that um, came out. So, all right, move some of this because I've already, I've already torn some off to use. Let's see if, um, if I can find myself. Okay, say hello when you come on. Hey, Susie. All right, so I am going to be using, have you seen this one? The, they call it brocant. <laughs> I called it the brocant. I mean, I don't know. I'm from Alabama. Okay, so this is, um, you get these eight sheets. They're really pretty. Let me see if I can just, um, I just um, have got some cut out. But this, they say, is kind of like a French French country market place, you know, like flea market type stuff. So, it has these birds in here, okay? That is my absolute favorite thing in here. There's two, um, there's two sheets of them. So, I just cut out one. I'm just going to use one right now. Aren't they pretty? Okay, so, I have something in mind. I'm a little worried because, let me bring this down just a hair. Um, because I have not sealed this piece, and generally, it works better if you seal your painted piece, okay? Um, I love birds, too. Oh, my gosh. I saw this when they kind of gave us a sneak peek a while back. I was like, oh, my word. I cannot wait for the birds. Um, so, I've got this, um, and I've already tried to see if this would work, but this is just an old picture I bought at a um, antique store. They had a bunch of these. It had a horse painted on it, and it's a little bit of a different texture. I mean, it's kind of wood, kind of not. I'm not quite sure, so sometimes I have a little bit of problems with my um, transfers, but I didn't want to wait to seal it because I just wanted, I just, I, you know, I'm anxious. I want to, I want to go ahead and do it, so this is what we got, and I like to layer I like to layer my transfers. So, I've, I cut out this little um, flower, and I've got it started. Now, I cut that. That was part of it, and I've cut it because I was going to do something different. Um, this is the other birds that I have, the other little sheet. So, I kind of want to put that on top of that. We're just going to see. We're going to see. And then, I love the little, I always love the script that comes so I kind of want that to go right here. So we're painting a piece of furniture um, in my Creative Junkies group, and I kind of wanted to tie something in with that. So I painted it this really pretty cream color, and it's um, crinoline. It's DIY's crinoline. Okay. Uh, I thought it would be really pretty. Turn my voice off. I thought it'd be really pretty against this vintage looking stuff. Okay, let's see who's here. Um, Pam. Hey, Pam. Gina. Uh, hey, Bonnie and Debbie. How are you, ladies? How are you? How are you? Okay, so let me just set these off to the side. So I'm going to go ahead and start um, getting this together. Like I said, I've got something else as a standby little project if this doesn't work, okay? So, they all come with this little plastic stick, and I've got, like I said, this was together, and I cut it because I was going to do something else. And I want it to kind of look like it's coming out, so I'm just going to, I actually don't even want, I just want it to come right down this side right here. And I'll probably cut the rest off if I can get it to work. So again, let me just say they generally work better if it's on a sealed piece. Okay. Hey, Judy. How goes it? All right. Let's see if we can get it going here. Oh, let me move this coffee. It really will look antiqued if I spill that all over it. <laughs> Which isn't a bad idea. I want to see if I can kind of cut that. Let's see if I have my 
projects everywhere. Um, well, I don't see my knife. Oh well, I guess I'll just keep working. And I'll just try to cut it when I get done. But I'm trying not to hit that little piece with my um, stick. If I do, it's fine. I can just repaint right there. So it is coming off, thank goodness. Let me just get a little bit right there. You will build your um, arm muscles from transfers. It's a, um, some of them, some of the really big ones that you just work on for days. Okay, I'm really excited because this is, this is coming off really well. And I was a little nervous. Okay, so that looks good. And then I just usually just take my hand and most people just take this little sheet and they'll turn it on the shiny side and just kind of burnish it. That scares me because I feel like it's, I'm gonna pick some up. And I, I have glitter going everywhere. We did a little, um, we're in the middle of a workshop here and, and it's not too late if you wanna join. Um, but so we've got these little sunflowers here and I have, I put some little glitter on it and it's now have glitter everywhere. Okay, so I'm just gonna, so if you're new to the transfers, they have a white backing, they come off the backing and they have a sticky side. Thank you, Angie. How are you? Thank you so much. I just put some crinoline in there, Debbie. Did someone go get it all? <laughs> um. I, you know, I haven't used crinoline much, but is my hair doing, y'all? Oh, I'm so sorry. It is so humid and gross here today. Um, but I'm using it on this little nightstand and end table in the group, and I just love it. I love it. So I'm okay. I'm just gonna piece that right there where it goes. Maybe try to get that leaf off of there because I want all of it. We'll just see. If for some reason it comes, you know, where it's not attached well or it doesn't line up well, you can easily paint and cover up any mistake or any, anything. That's what I do. I've even continued the image. If I need some somewhere else, I'll just, I'll just paint what, you know, <laughs> what this looks like. Uh, hey, Joy, how are you? Denise! What's behind me? Which one? This? Um, yeah, that's probably what you're seeing That This is a little mixture of transfers that I had left, I think. No, it's not. It's one trans, it's Botanist Journal, but I cut it up and rearranged it. I did. I cut it up, and I have a video on that somewhere on my page. But I did, I cut it up and rearranged it because um, that's just what I always do, just like this. I cut it up and, but this one, of course, that botanist journal is in a whole sheet already arranged, um, but I still cut it up and changed it. I wanted the bird on there in the center. You know, that cool, nice weather we had not too long ago was just a teaser because it has been so hot and humid and that's another reason I was worried this wouldn't come off because I just painted this not maybe an hour ago so I thought well it's not going to have time to dry but I put it in front of the fan Hopefully, all right. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, that has a little word right there. I didn't realize it. 
and I see gold, <laughs> which is fine. It's fine. I love gold. All right, so I just take my fingers, and this is just burnishing it. Now, when I finish, I will seal this with um, something. I don't know what yet. You can either do wax or um, I may use the liquid patina, which is kind of like a Mod Podge. All right. Now, I've got these pretty birds. Ah, this looks so good on here. Okay, so let me take this off. All right. Now, again, I say I'm going to center it, but I want it overlapping the flowers a little bit, of course, because I want to layer it. Um, and like something, um, now, of course, there's, there's another sheet of these. So if I wanted it to come all the way across, I could do that. I could add the other ones, but it's okay. I'm just going to leave it like this. But this is one of those things where I say, um, hold on, let me think a minute. This is one of those things where I say, well, if I want the branch to keep coming, this is where I'm talking about, I, you could just paint that in, which I've done several times. Now, I'm not sure if this is straight because I'm terrible, but we're going, it's okay. I'm going for it. So, I've got the flowers behind the bird. I wish there were some more flowers like this because I would bring it on down and have it coming down here, but there's no more. I guess I could paint them, but I don't. IOD, where? Yes, Angie, they're Iron Orchid Designs, okay? So, you can look on their website, see if there is a retailer near you. That way you can go and look at all the goodness, okay? I'm a retailer here in Alabama, and so my shop is in, uh, or my booth is at Myrtle Jane South, and it's here in Pelham, um, right down the road. It's a great little place if you're local or if you're, um, you know, passing through, going to the beach or whatever, you need to stop by, okay? Tanya um, is the owner, and she does such a good job. So many uh, just good things in there, but I stock uh, Iron Orchid Designs in there. I have DIY paint. I have Paint Couture paint. Um, and then plus a lot of the stuff that I make here on video I put in there. Um, and a lot of the furniture. Um, Pam. <laughs> I do get happy <laughs> creating. It is, I just love it. So much fun. And you see how easy it is, right? You see how easy this is. So I have um, I have a group um, that I'm opening up this this week because um, I have you know I've not opened it up. It's been I've had it for like a year. Um, but we do all kind of projects from start to finish. Um, we, I do it live. I'm in the group live. I do pre-record some stuff if there's some stuff that needs to be done ahead of time. Um, but this month we're actually doing a piece of furniture, like I said, and, um, I am using this color crinoline. It was a couple of pieces that, um, oh, and the, the group, duh, it's called Creative Junkies. So I'll put this, let me put a link to that in here just in case you want to check it out, um, or if you don't have a stockist, an Iron Orchid, Iron Orchid Design stockist near you, I do sell them on my website. So, I'm going to put in my website, um, it's just weatheredwings.com, okay, and you can see all the IOD stuff there we have molds we have transfers we have um, stamps um, I didn't bring all the new stuff down here but just look in the menu go under the shop and where you can find all this all the stuff and then creative junkies and you can see um, you can check it out see if you think it's something you would be interested in you get um, I do give you 10% off all of these um, all of these products 
uh, that you purchase and there's tons of tutorials already in there waiting for you to get going. It's me that teaches in there. I don't, um, I don't hand it off to guests. Um, it's, it's all me. So if you struggle with, you know, just ideas or colors or, you know, anything really, I'm just there to help you. And it's, it's just a sweet group of women. You know, we just, it's a sweet group of women. So if you, um, you know, because sometimes this, this can get a little lonely. Although, like Pam says, this makes me extremely happy to do all this. Sometimes it's a little lonely and you want to kind of do it with somebody. Um, so, I am just loving this. <laughs> All right, let me turn it around so you can kind of see what we got so far. Is that not sweet, y'all, those birds? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I love birds. I don't know if I said that. I love birds. Okay, so let's, let's keep adding. Let's just keep adding. All right, so this is the little script piece. Okay, I don't know if you can see that, but it's just a little, and I don't know what this stuff says. Okay, it's in French. I don't know. <sighs> it's just pretty, right? It's just pretty. So, I kind of want to overlap that just a little bit as well. Now, they have these grid lines. See those little grid lines on there? That kind of helps me keep things straight. So I'm just actually going to line it up under the birds. See, come over. All right. I'm sorry, y'all. I do overthink everything. I do. Okay. Putting her down. <laughs> uh, hey, Michelle. Thank you, thank you for showing up. How are you? What you've been creating? Okay. Michelle, um, she's a creative herself. Very, very creative creator, I should say. Okay, is that straight? All right, straight enough. Now, this is what I usually, this is what can get a little complicated, the little, little bitty things little words, the little doodahs. So, when you're lifting up your sheet, after, you know, after you scrape it and kind of lift it, um, I just kind of do it a little bit at a time, and if you're, if it kind of is struggling to come off, hold the paper up a little bit and like push into it. Push into it like that as you're pulling up to give some tension to it, and that'll help. But don't ever just, you know, rip it all off at one time because sometimes it doesn't um, come off all of it, and you just want to be able to lay it right back down and finish it up. This is actually coming off easy, y'all. I'm so excited because, like I said, I've been on here before where it didn't come off. <laughs> and that's not fun. But I had another project um, prepared just in case. I got plenty of projects. That, I'm never short on projects or ideas. Um, okay, these are transfers, Belinda. Um, hey, Leah. It does make me happy. I love birds. Love birds. Um, this is a transfer. Okay, so it's easier than stencils. This one is... How much is this transfer? Let me see. Is it eight sheets, did I say? Yeah. 39. 
It's 39. Um, well, everybody's a little different, okay? If you go to a, um, if you go find a stockist near you, they it, it'll probably run in that range. Mine are priced um, on my website at 39, um, no tax. And shipping is just what it is. It usually runs, it just depends, but like, um, actually first class, this would ship like five or six dollars, but um, priority is like seven or eight, depending on where you live, depending on where you live. And if you add more stuff, okay, it gets heavier. But I usually, I think I finally got my shipping down to be pretty much just what it's actually costing me. But like I said, I'll show it to you again. There's tons on here. There's, I mean, you can get lots of projects. And it's instant gratification, right? Instant. Well, instant after you get it transferred. <laughs> Sometimes that's not instant. Like I'm sweating. And if y'all are interested in um, uh -oh, in the sunflower, we tonight we are doing the resin on the sunflower, um, but it's it's you know recorded in a private group, and so it's there. You don't you can watch it whenever, so you don't have to be there live if if you're interested in. And, and it's these. This is what we're doing. We made this this one, and we made a half of one, a half. And I actually ended up doing a red one last night as well. So, we're going to resin those tonight. All right, my hand is sticking to this. So, let me make sure that's, oh, I think that's good. Okay. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. Now, I don't know what else I'm going to do to it around the edge. I'm, you know, I probably will antique it just a little bit. All right, now I've got this one other, um, this actually is from the, um, oh, what, what transfer is this from? It's just the one with, it's all script, and I just cut out a piece of it. I can't even, I cannot think what the name of it is. Someone help me if you know. Yes, Beverly, I do have the red. It's not dry. Let me, um, let me see where I want this real quick. I need to come out to balance it. Do it right there. My fingernails are wrecked. I got paint all over them. So this is, like I said, this is just, um, da, 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 da. let's see, okay, I hope I've, Angie, your daughter loves birds. <laughs> okay, I hope I don't have that crooked, that's the only thing I worry about, I should put a ruler down, you would think with these lines, I don't know what it is, but I can't get things straight. They had a pretty little, um, this was in with that set, but it's green, and so I didn't, I wasn't sure about that. I thought I'd just stick with the black. I'll go a little faster. The 
words are never that fun. They're just harder. I don't know what it is. but And I'm sure it's hard for them in the production to get it. Um, because these transfers, y'all, are gorgeous. They don't have that halo-looking um, thing around it to make it look like a sticker. Um, I'm going to show you this up close when I'm done. It looks like it's painted on. It does. Now, I've had some that have had the... It just, I just was not happy. All right, this little bitty piece. Almost, almost. Oh, I want to add a little butterfly too, so. I think we need a little butterfly, and this one has several butterflies. So let me let me pick out a butterfly because there's several in here that are cute. Um, okay, I don't want that because it's too close to the color. That one's real cute. Those are pretty. They're similar in color. Let me just show you some of the stuff that's in here. These are really pretty. I'm gonna put these on some, I think some bottles. I got some really neat bottles at the thrift store. That one looks good too. I'm thinking I like this vibe with it. And then they've got a big butterfly. Okay, so. All right, so just gonna have to cut it out like this. Think a minute. I guess I'll put it over here because butterfly will be flying towards the flower, right? So, and it will balance it all out, I think. <laughs> oh, she's a photographer. You know, that's so awesome. I used to love to take pictures. You know the, you know those people that miss out on life because they're trying to get it on a camera? <laughs> that was me. <clears throat> I would just miss everything trying to get a picture of it all, but I love it. I love my pictures. But then my kids got a little grown and got cameras of their own, and so they, you know, they took over. <clears throat> And of course, I couldn't do it good anymore. My, my pictures weren't good good enough for them. <laughs> uh, all right, y'all. If I could get that one piece of glitter off of there, it's like blinding me. There's a speck of glitter. Um, and I will put a piece of, a little bit of paint on there, but there we go. Now, I, I do want to, um, antique it just a little bit, and I'm not sure if I want to use a stamp or just use, um, I'll tell you one little thing I'll just go ahead and do, because if I use a stamp, I'm going to roll it out, and what time is it? Um... Yeah, it's almost four. So, let's see. Let me uh, let me get some paint. I'm gonna show you a little trick I do. Where is? I don't like that color. Okay, here we go. Well, see if this will work. So this is dark and decrepit. It's kind of like a stain, but um, 
there's no smell. There's no smell to DIY products, and I'm always indoors. Um, that may be why I, I love <laughs> flowers and birds, because I love the outdoors, but I just can't go out there because something eats me up, and I'm allergic, and mosquitoes just, they literally swarm when I come outside. I don't know what it is. So, I used to love working out in the yard, but I just cannot do that anymore. All right, so I like to take a little bitty, just, this is just a little wooden piece, okay? Um, and let me find a little sheet of something. I got, I think I got this at the Dollar Tree. It was in a bag with a uh, little toy car pieces to make a toy car. Okay. I usually do this with paint, but I'm gonna try this. So I just kind of tap it in here. I'm gonna offload it. And this thing is so slick. Okay, but I like to take this. Can y'all see what I'm doing? Let me just start at the top here. And I just kind of, uh-oh. And it just kind of like, I guess I like this okay. Like I said, I usually use paint, but this is working okay. There's so many different ways you could do this, y'all. I could paint it brown and sand it back. This is so much easier. It's less messy. And it actually looks like it's sanded. Let's see. Thank you, Angie. And this brings out the warmth in the birds. So I'll do this with, you know, gold as well. If I want something with a gold, some gold highlights. But we do, oh shoot, but we do um, have a new stamp and it's called Textures and you can age stuff with the stamp. And I may go back and do that, but I don't have room right here to where y'all could see to do my paint and my brayer and everything. And I don't quite know if I'm gonna do anything else or not. I have to ponder it a little bit. I have to, when I do a project, I have to stare at it, see if there's anything else that needs doing. Y'all do that, anybody else do that? Like, like put it far off and look at it for a while. want to get these corners because that's where most stuff is aged, right? And so you can do it as much or as little, but, but do offload it on a sheet of, you know, because you don't want a whole bunch of it coming off. And so this technique can be done on furniture as well. I love doing that too. Okay, let me just, I want these to really be. Now you can just come down like this when you only have just a little bit left. Like that. And you can actually do it on this part too. I usually do, let me just go ahead. Oh, wrong side, right? No. <laughs> Thanks, Monique. Okay, let's see. I can't leave the front just, you know, clean like it is. It's gotta have a little 
of this going as well. Let's see if I can get that glitter off. <laughs> So I'm just gonna go over the whole thing. Okay, let me show you up close. All right, so there's the transfers up close. See how pretty they are? All right, and then you can see what just what I just did with the little, that little flat area. So that is adorable to me. I love these transfers. So pretty, so pretty. All right, now. Oh, jeez, I almost dropped my lid <laughs> right on the picture. So that's it, guys. I'll, um, the only thing left for me to do, I will seal it. I'm not sure with what. Probably some liquid patina, which is DIY. Again, liquid patina. So we have, also I have paint couture top coat, which is gorgeous, and it's self-leveling, but I usually save that for my furniture. Um, but this gives you a nice um, sealer that's not shiny, and then the big top is kind of shiny. So if you like a really nice sheen, but I don't think I'd want a sheen on this, okay? So it's a little vintage -y. I'm just gonna put some, um, liquid patina on it and call it done. All right, that French looks great with, yes, uh, yeah, right? And this was, um, a lot of people thought I'd choose to mold, but this was on the frame already. Like I said, it was, see, here's another one. I don't know if y'all can see this on the wall, but this this was the exact same thing. See the floor to lay up there? It's an old, um, and y'all, I love them. They make the best canvases, but I got them at an antique store going out of business. They had stacks and stacks of them. So I bought several. Um, I don't, I think I paid maybe $4, $3, and you know, you can't even buy a canvas for that. So it makes great um, working surfaces. All right, guys, that's it. If you have any questions, I will come back. Um, Thanks, Monique. My hair just is oh, it's gross today, but thank you. <laughs> it gets, when it gets humid, my hair actually, I can feel it like blowing up like a clown. All right. Thank you, Karen. Let's see. Am I missing anybody? Serena. Hey, girl. How are you? I hadn't seen you in so long. Well, I've never seen you, but on Facebook. It's so good to see you. All right, everyone. Well, you have a great day, and I will maybe see you tomorrow. Good night. Bye.